Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 29 of free AWS DevOps Zero to Hero series. And in this video, I am going to explain you how to crack AWS DevOps job roles in 2023. I'm going to share you some very useful tips and tricks. So please watch this video till the end. But before we start this, for our new subscribers and new viewers, let me tell you that we are doing this 30 days free course where we are already done with 28 episodes where each and every episode we try to learn about one AWS service. We try to understand the fundamentals, theory part, demonstrations, interview questions and real life troubleshooting. So if you want to learn about it, you can first check this Git repository, which has complete details about this course. And if you like it, you can check the link in the description. It is completely free available on this YouTube channel. So you can click on that playlist and you can start learning AWS DevOps. That means you can start learning AWS for DevOps engineers. This is for the people who have newly joined our channel. Now going back to the topic that is how to crack AWS DevOps job rules in 2023. So the very first thing that you need to do is start with DevOps. Do not start with AWS. I've seen many people starting with AWS, starting with the concepts of AWS and they will find it very, very difficult to understand and they will stop it. So do not do that. Firstly, start with DevOps. At least get some broad level understanding of all the DevOps tools and technologies. I mean, the popular ones, it can be Terraform, Ansible, Kubernetes, Docker, Git, Linux, and shell scripting. So get expertise or at least broad level knowledge on these things and then switch to AWS, right? You might use AWS first to create a virtual machine. If you don't have Windows laptop, that's okay. I mean, if you have Windows laptop, that's okay. Create a virtual machine and then start learning DevOps. Once you are done with it, then focus on AWS. Okay. Do not start with AWS and go back to DevOps. That's a wrong approach and that will not lead you anywhere. Now, point number two is I've seen many people in the initial days of their learning focus on certifications. Again, that's a wrong approach. Do not start with certifications like cloud practitioner or solution software, sorry, solutions architect associate. What you need to do is start with learning the concepts. Start with doing the practicals, start with doing demos, start learning the interview questions and do the interview preparation. Finally, go with certifications. Certifications have to be your last stage to evaluate your knowledge, right? What are certifications? Certifications are the things that you need to do to evaluate your knowledge on AWS or Azure or whatever certification that you are doing. Okay, so start with learning the concepts tools and technologies, do the demos, do the practicals, and finally do the certifications if you have time. Third thing, analyze the job descriptions as much as possible. So I've seen most of the people spend time on LinkedIn. They go through the feed, which is very, very good. You are being active on LinkedIn. At the same time, spend some 15, 20 minutes a day and read through the job descriptions. You apply a lot of jobs. So at the same time, read what are the things that they are putting in the job description. What are the common things that are available in the job description and focus on, on those things, right? Because DevOps is vast, AWS is vast. There are so many tools and technologies. So you have to do your homework and try to understand what are the things that are currently trending in the market. Take 100 job descriptions, write down you know, what are the things that you see in common or take help of AI tools, take help of BARD, take help of chat GPT, or I've done videos in the past explaining what are the tools and technologies that are right now trending in 2023. Using these things, write down the list and see what knowledge you have on those things. If you think there is some gray area, if you think you don't know something, focus on that. Okay, so do not you know, do not go into that race that, okay, someone in LinkedIn is doing a certification. Someone in LinkedIn said that, okay, they have done this certification that helped them in getting a job. Don't do that. What you need to do is do your own preparation using the job descriptions. This is very, very important. And number four is find right courses. What do, what do I mean by that? There are so many courses available, right? There are courses on Udemy. There are courses on 
uh, YouTube, there are courses on other platforms. Find the right courses. Now, I will highly endorse my courses. I will highly recommend my courses because not that I have done it, but all the courses that I've done, whether it's the free DevOps course or free AWS course, what I have done is I have always focused on the jobs. I've never focused on certifications. I've never focused on things that are superior or superlative, but I have focused on the things that are required for jobs, right? I've taken job descriptions. I read through a lot of job descriptions most of the times, and I try to do that projects for you people so that during interviews, you will be able to answer those questions very confidently because when you do that, what you will do is you will try to realize, okay, uh, these are the things that I've done. And when the interviewer is asking, you will try to correlate and say that, okay, so this is what interviewer is asking. And this is what I know. Let me tell him that. Right. So always try to pick up right courses. If you think that Abhishek, I found something better than your course. No problem at all. You can start with those courses, but try to follow the approach they have taken in the course. If they have told you that this is day one, day two, day three, day four, then go in the same order. Do not try to skip the orders. Sometimes I've seen people that whenever you find a lengthy video, you skip that video and you go to the next day. That way you will skip a concept which has relation to the next one. So do not do that. Point number five, do the practicals. I keep saying this multiple times, but people highly ignore this one. They don't do the demos. They watch the videos. They try to understand the theory part and they say that Abhishek, I'm not getting some real time experience. I'm not understanding. How does real time troubleshooting work? If you do the practicals, you will run into problems. If you run into problems, you will understand troubleshooting by fixing them, right? That is what people do in real life as well. If there is a DevOps engineer, how the DevOps engineer will fix that issue by troubleshooting it, by going into that issue, by learning what went wrong, they will try to see, okay, this is how I have to fix it. Similarly, like in my DevOps course and in my AWS course, I've done at least 30 to 40 demos. There are 70 episodes if you combine all of them and 75 maybe. So if you see that 75 videos, at least there will be 30 to 40 demos. And if you follow that 30 to 40 demos, there is no way that you are not going to get a job. If you do all those practicals, then you will have very good idea on troubleshooting scenarios, interview questions and everything, right? So these are some five tips and tricks that I want to share in today's video. And by following these five tips and tricks, you will definitely able to get job in AWS DevOps in 2023, right? Please follow these five things. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. If you have any feedback, definitely share that to me in the comment section and wait for the final episode of this 30 day series, which is a little surprise. I'm going to do a project that most of the people are looking for and I'm going to share that details in telegram after a little while, probably tomorrow I'm going to share when I'm going to upload that video. So stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share our channel with your friends and colleagues. Take care everyone. See you.